Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Finger points to the sky as we reach episode number 23 today. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is opening up some rewards to begin with. So we've got squad battles and then my weekly pre-order packs and stuff, which is nice. And then uh, for the rest of the episode, obviously we're going to delve in and get up to 14 wins for the weekend league. So I'm going to be playing my matches uh, that remain. So if you do enjoy, do me a favor at the start of the video, hit me with a thumbs up. 7,000 likes is your goal. Thank you for all of the support, especially over the double upload day the other day. Uh, it's, uh, it's mad to see like... When I really ask you to hit the thumbs up button, a lot of you really do. So there's there's no difference, all right? You might as well hit it today. Smash the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel as well if you are new around here. And click the notification bell to become part of the Noti gang. Um, so my team uh, hasn't changed since a couple of nights ago. The, the last thing we did was obviously bring Lucas in. And I've really liked the Brazilian. Uh, he's been the best Prem right winger that I've tried so far. And I've tried obviously... Mares and Adama, um, and then Lucas. So uh, he is—he's the better one, and and that kind of makes sense because he's like the most expensive one as well. Uh, we get gold two in squad battles, which is fine. You know, I'll absolutely take that. There's really not much difference between gold two and gold one. Um, so rather than sweating it out for another four or five matches, I decided, you know what, I'm just going to stop there uh, and get these packs. So I think the only difference is one—it's either a 7.5k pack or a 15k pack that you get extra if you get gold one compared to gold two. So the rest of the packs and the coins are exactly the same. So I get Munayin in the pack, which is fine. It's a nice uh, winger, board player from Spain, which, you know, we'll definitely take that. Uh, second pack, we end up getting another board. This time we are going to end up getting Portuguese, center mid from Wolverhampton Wanderers. We are going to, of course, get Zhao Moutinho, 83 this year. I think last year he was an 84. So that was a slightly better pull if you got him last year than compared to this year. Uh, but hey, we'll take it as well. There's going to be a time where a Prem player like that is uh, is expensive. Oh, the England Tifo. I wonder if I should try and sell that. Maybe someone who is, is willing to pay like 5K for that or something. Because Tifos and stuff seem to be fairly rare from what I've seen on this game. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, I might try and make some money from the stuff that's in my club, actually. I need to go and have a little check to, uh, to try and... Basically get like Joe Gomez funds because I really want Joe Gomez. Um, next pack we end up getting like an 82, so nothing crazy. Can we get a board to uh, to finish things off here? No walkout, no board either, unfortunately. So uh, I think the pre-order packs were the bad ones and then the good ones were the squad battles rewards. If I've got that round the right way, I think so anyway. Um, and then obviously this is a premium gold players pack from squad battles. So maybe it was one and one that was good versus bad. Who knows? Uh, but we're sitting at 30,000 coins. So we couldn't do much to our squad even if we wanted to right now. Uh, but there are a few players on my bench that I could potentially sell to get my funds up. Um, and right now we're at 11 and 1. A brilliant start for the weekend league. And obviously my goal is to get to 14 wins. This is like the everyday man RTG. So 14 wins. I kind of want that to be my goal every week. Get 14 wins get my rewards and then show you guys that if you play to like what is normally considered the uh it's like the the most efficient gold uh is the most efficient weekend league finish for like games played versus what you get in return and stuff so that's what i i like to do one because it gives me those rewards and normally i can attain gold three some weeks it's, it's a lot easier than others um two I held up one finger again. That's not good. Uh, number two is that it, one, it, it doesn't burn me out on the game. All right? I see in people already, like, some people are playing 60 games of weekend league, like, on two accounts. Uh, and, and, and some people are, uh, you know, playing their 30 games, grinding it out, like, trying to hit elite or whatever. And I just know that those people are normally the ones which start, like, feeling the, the burn of uh, being burnt out of this game by like November. <laughs> so I don't really want that to be me. Last year, I played the game for like 10, 11 straight months, something like that. I think it was about 11 months until I canned the RTG for the year. Um, and going to like 14 wins every week just seems to be the right move for me. And, and of course, 
as well this year, the added bonus of that is that it doesn't use up all of your 30 games um, for rivals. So during the week, there is still some stuff to do, which means that actually you can get more points than if you were to just play all 30 weekend league games. So there's potential for us to finish in, in, with ever so slightly better rivals rewards as well. All right. So... It sort of, it really works for this series, like the everyday man, average FIFA player type series. I know I'm having an above average weekend league right now, but you know, there will be weeks where I definitely don't. Um, so yeah, uh, anyway, we end up uh, losing this game, three goals to two. My players fall to the floor uh, as he scores in extra time with Erling Haaland. Uh, he brought him on as a substitute and he does well to rise above it and uh, and score that header. Uh, but yeah, like this guy, it was a, it was a close game, um, but I lose my first game of the day and go on into my second game. And I'm like, okay, so I was 11 and one uh, and then I stopped and then came on and lost my first game. This is kind of what I expected to happen because my ELO was very high for my actual ability level. Um, but, uh, I, you know, you never know. Sometimes you can sort of go 14 and 1, and it's brilliant. Sometimes you, you go like 14 and 12, or, you know, you really struggle to get to the 14 wins. So I was just taking it, like, in a good way that, you know, uh, the odd loss here and there doesn't really matter because we've already got so many wins and so little losses that we kind of expect to take them at some point in time. Uh, but I go 2-0 down against uh, what looks to be a fellow RTG based on his three-letter description above his name. Um, and, yeah, I'm 2-0 down. Things are obviously not going well. Uh, Leroy Sané steps up and uh, Sissoko basically boots it into the back of the net instead of, like, defending it, which sucks uh so we go three nil down after 35 minutes and um i'm not gonna quit uh there maybe are some games that i would consider quitting in the future but right now i'm not gonna quit because uh it's it's early days and like like i said i expect to lose some games so even if we lost this one and lost two in a row it's, it's okay maybe i can learn a little bit from this so uh that's exactly what we decided to try and do now second half was a little bit of a different story i push out wide here with lucas whip it in and score a lovely volley with Sissoko, the second volley he scored in this game. The other one was just in the back of the wrong net, unfortunately. And then Lucas gets through here. I take the strike. I don't know whether I could have tried to through ball that and just get it, you know, to, to Usman or whoever it was. I'm not sure. Uh, but we score this with Eden Hazard. Really nice goal. I've scored a couple like that now. His finesse shots might be uh, stupidly broken, you know. So I'm going to try and take them uh, a few more of them in future. But we end up losing 3-2. So after being 3-0 down after 35 minutes, we get a respectable result. I nearly got back in it. It was so close. Um, but yeah, he just he just beat me in the end. So that's two really close games that we've actually ended up losing. So we go 11-1 to 11-3. The slippery slope has arrived. Uh, I have arrived at the station and I am, I am going to bottle it, aren't I? Uh, yeah. Uh, apart from this game started well. You know, we end up going 1-0 up. Usman Dembele scoring again. He's been super clutch for me this weekend. He might be my highest... Uh, goal scorer. He might be. Yeah, he might score the most goals for me. I'm still yet to complete my Excel spreadsheet. So I'll. Uh, what you should do is just come follow me on Twitter because that's where I typically post my uh, my stats and stuff for the weekend league. If you are curious to know, you know exactly which players did what for me during the league. I, I, I write my results down. I give a little description of the match, uh, and then I uh, I write who scored, who assisted, and all of that type of stuff just from looking back at my footage. So we get a goal to go 2-1 up. So we've, uh, we, you know, we, we, we're winning this game now at half time, 2-1. St. Maximin got that goal there. Uh, and again, this was a super close game. Trying my very best to come away with a victory here and not lose three in a row. Um, I can't believe that didn't go in. I was, uh, and then my opponent runs down the other end, literally, and scores a goal with Lewandowski. And I'm like, I just wanted to cry. Because uh, I could have gone 3-1 up and that would have nearly been game over. But then instead, you know, he gets it to 2 all. However, Mbappe to the rescue. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do when, I'm, <laughs> when I've run out of this, uh, the loan of this Mbappe. But uh, for now, he wins the game for me again. And that is, yeah, what you love to see. He's been doing great against... Uh, against my opponents in the latter stages because he's obviously got so much more stamina and he's obviously a class, class player on this game. I can't wait till we can actually like eventually afford him. That'd be that'd be insane. Uh, I'd love to try and actually own Mbappe on this game. That'd be brilliant. Or pack him. 
I'm ready to pack him, EA. If you want to put one in my packs, then I'm down, all right? I'm ready. So we go into the next game. So at least we didn't lose the, the three in a row. We actually got a win there. Another close game, but we did come away with a W that time. So that's been the, the case a lot of my games this weekend is that it's been super close. And then I get a late goal and actually win it. Uh, it just happened, so happened that the first two games of this session were a little bit like the, the opposite where my opponent gets the late goal or, or we, we actually just got done in one of those games, didn't we? But um, we're 1-0 up. We uh, end up getting really lucky with the bounce and it falls to Usman Dembele. I take the strike, it hits the post and uh, it falls to Wijnaldum who sticks it in the back of the net. And that's 2-0 after 28 minutes. I was a little bit surprised, but uh, I was obviously very thankful to see Wilps FC uh, hit me with a little rage quit. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Um, maybe, maybe his weekend league was... Uh, going down the toilet or something and he was just getting stressed out but a 2-0 two, a two rage quit I will uh, uh yeah that's fantastic stuff it is it reduces the stress levels for me just one win to go now and we're gonna be all good so uh 11 and 3 to 13 and 3 and now we move up into what is uh well hopefully gonna be our final game potentially um against a solid prem team with a couple of ones to watches he's got timo Werner up front and even an icon berezi as a center back who actually turned out to be really difficult to get past in this game now this game was like super close end to end stuff my opponent gets the goal uh, literally in the 45th minute. L hit me with a little bit of 45th minute cheese. Um, but yeah, you can see at halftime the stats are like super close. So second half comes around and he ends up going 2-0 up. And I'm like, damn it. I actually feel so hard done by here. This is not a 2-0 game. And then I feel even worse when Sterling ends up tackling uh, Trent. And he makes it 3-0 with the weak foot of Bernardo Silva. I'm like, what's going on here? But I kind of kept my cool. I brought Mbappe on. I was like, yeah, you know what? We're going to go for this. And he scored uh, fairly quickly. Like in the 67th minute, we get it back to 3-1. All right. 3-0 down up until the 67th. Uh, Mbappe then just beats the defender to it. St. Max, I mean, like eventually he gets it. But uh, <laughs> that, that nearly got defended, uh, which would have annoyed me. But we get it back to 3-2. And then Hazard knocks it into St. Maximum. We just knock it across. Mbappe scores the goal to get... We basically got three goals in about 10 FIFA minutes to make it 3 all. We leveled this game out. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, that is sometimes what happens when you throw the kitchen sink at them. However, pretty much uh, like a couple minutes towards the end, he, uh, he ends up running straight through me with Bernardo Silva and scoring the goal. But I'm not cutting it. I'm not cutting the clip, which means we're about to score a kickoff goal. Look at that ball over from St. Maximin. Look at the run from Mbappe and the finish from the Frenchman as well. Oh my God, he is... He's basically here to save the day. Uh, and he's been doing a great job since we brought him on as a sub. We then knock it down the line. That man knocks it back into Eden Hazard. The Garden of Eden. Puts me into the lead. 5-4. I can't believe the turnaround in this game. That is insane. Uh, so it's looking like we're going to win. Just got to see the, the clock out now so we can get our victory. But Mbappe knocks it into uh, St. Max to get the 6-4 the goal. <clears throat> 67th minute, I was 3-0 down. So, uh, yeah, what a, what a goal fest towards the end of that match. And obviously that is enough to secure goal 3. 10-goal thriller in the end there. I think I was getting heart palpitations from it being so end to end, but anyway, we uh, we hit him with the the the, the awesome comeback there, uh, and that gets me my first goal three of the FIFA 21 calendar. Happy about that. That means two red player picks. I think two 35k packs and a 50k pack, as well as 30,000 coins. Uh, that will be nice for our RTG. Hopefully, it will be able to uh, help us bring in some new talent to the squad, um, which, of course, has done a good job for me this weekend. 14 and 3, I'm really happy with. That is unlikely to, to happen next week. Um, there, there's not many weeks where I get a good score like that, so I'm over the moon with it, as I'm sure you can tell. Uh, but I think there's probably going to be some changes made. We're obviously in profit with St. Maximin. He's like 250, 260k, something like that. But I like him a lot. Maybe we try and keep him. I don't know. Maybe we sell him and do something different next week. Who knows? Um, but Trent's probably going to go. I'm thinking Ed Militao might go as well. Like I said to you guys, 
I kind of got Joe Gomez on the shopping list. I want to be able to pick him up. Uh, Lucas, I liked a lot. Like, a lot of these players have gone down in price. I think Usman's got to stay. The guy's a genius. I love him. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what to do. Because if we lose Ed Militao and we keep Diego Carlos and then try and get Joe Gomez, we're going to have to figure chemistry out somehow. And, like, Courtois is probably then going to have to go. We might bring in a lower-rated goalie. I don't know. We'll make some changes in the next episode, see what we can possibly do. There's potential there, and there's coins there if we sell the right players. Uh, and who knows? We might get lucky in our red player picks or our, or, or our reward packs uh, on Thursday, which I'm, uh, again, super excited for. I love rewards days. So uh, that cannot come quick enough. I know it's Tuesday right now, but I uh, I just want it to be Thursday. Quickly, hurry up. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. 7,000 likes is your target. Let me know in the comment section below what you got in the weekend league, your result, and who was your best player. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I right, thank you for that. Twitter, Instagram can be found down below in the description. Come follow me over there. See what I'm getting up to. All of that good stuff. Take it easy, everyone. Stay safe and healthy. Your boy will catch you again tomorrow. Peace.